first vehicle I ever purchased. Maybe a Lincoln Town Car back in the day. I was working at the time. My wife had a car. I, I used to ride a bike to the gym, then ride a bike early, early in the morning to the gym, then ride a bike to work. And then in the afternoon, I would use her car to go to the martial arts gym. But uh, I had a job. I can't remember the name. It was a beat up thing though. It must have been a Honda or something, but I don't remember. I think my, no, no, my, my, my dad bought it for my parents bought it for me. It was probably like 1500, but yeah, it was a little gift for my parents. That's two different things. My first vehicle was an Oldsmobile Delta 88, giant gray boat. And I actually got that for free because um, my friend's dad had it and he wanted me to wrestle with his son and he wanted me a way to, to, he wanted me to have transportation to go and wrestle with his son in their barn like 15 minutes away in my hometown of Las Cruces, New Mexico. So he gave me that car. I didn't purchase it. The first car I purchased felt a little different because it was like a car I wanted, a car I loved, and I got it. And that was my um, 1986 Lincoln Continental. And that was like one of my most beloved cars ever. I purchased it the first time ever, had low mileage. That was a car I drove from uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico to Sacramento, California to like change my life. So it was like that vessel, you know, um, in my life. And uh, that was one of, that was my first car I purchased. I actually drove it today again, 2006 Nissan Altima. I just got rid of my, uh, well, I'm getting rid of my 2019 WRX STI. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty, it's a fast car. It's a sweet car, but I don't drive it much. And I'm, I don't need the extra payment. I'm, you know, I, so I'm getting rid of that. And I'm going back to my old car, my 2006 Nissan Altima. <clears throat> I bought it in 2012. It was the first car. It was the first car I saw. And I was like, I need, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to work. I'm going to pay it off. And then I drove it down to Phoenix, <clears throat> drove it down to Phoenix. So, um, I still got that car. Uh, I got, uh, a 2000 and, one or 2002 Chevy Avalanche, the first vehicle I ever owned. And I paid for it with money I had uh, got from working at Bonneville Water Conditioning. Uh, it was a Chevy Blazer. It was given to me when I was 16 from my grandparents who had driven around as like their mountain car. And I drove that all the way up until last summer. So eight years. It died many, many times. And it it, it's been gutted and redone, and now my younger brother drives it, and it just died on the freeway a couple of days ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was given to me. It was my brother's vehicle, and then he went in the military, and uh, he got a new one, so I got that one. It was a 2002 single cab V6 Dodge Ram 1500. First car, it was a 77 Chevy Nova. I just saved up all my money from, uh, you know, like training at the gym. I would get paid to kind of like help teach some of the kids' classes and stuff. Um, but it was only like 1100 bucks. It was kind of like a piece of shit. Um, it would actually like die at stoplights if it idled for too long. Um, but, yeah, I paid for it with my gym money. And, uh, yeah, had it for a couple years. And then um, upgraded to a slightly nicer 96 Mercedes with a, uh, it's got like a the little telephone in the console. My first car, uh, it was a Honda Civic, a two door Honda Civic, a uh, ninety one. I think it was a ninety ninety one. <laughs> uh, my dad, my dad actually lent me the money so he could teach me, you know, so he dealt me like two grand after high school, but he really bought it for me. <laughs> oh, uh, the first car I ever bought. Um, the first car, well, technically. It was, uh, I think it's called a, a Geo Metra. I, I can't remember. Where, uh, it, it's a it's a very small like a <laughs> very small car that we got when we first came to California, and um, a friend sold it to me for like really, really cheap, you know. And uh, that's when I, I I first started started moving around here because I was taking a bicycle from from the house that I was staying at to AKA, which was about like 15 miles. Yeah, so it was it was killing me. But the problem was my friend didn't tell me that it was a stick shift. And uh, I just I just got my license at the time. I didn't know how to drive a stick shift. So and so even though I had it and I was learning to drive it, I didn't keep it for very long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So my it was the Dodge 600 that was involved in the most notorious car accident that everyone usually hears about my back. 
Um, and <laughs> crazy enough, I was a freshman in high school and I was coming home from a soccer game with one of my friends and we were just like super pumped. It was one of those situations where like teenage kids shouldn't be really driving because they're young and they're just not really paying attention. We rear-ended somebody and I got a settlement from it just from being in the car, just from being there. So my dad bought me the car with it. So yeah, that's how I got my, uh, my 1982 Dodge 600 drop top. It was, yeah, it was a Chevy Impala um, that uh, my my dad got for me on, on the on the cheap um, when I when I when I got my license as like a, a birthday present. Um, so yeah, that was and then the first first car car I bought was a uh, was a Toyota Corolla and then um, then I got she I got a Chevy Equinox and I, now I'm I got my uh, I got a what's it called yeah I got a Toyota Tacoma. Nice little truck. I can zip around. But I expect to last me forever. Oh, so I had a uh, mate. You probably wouldn't even know what I first drove, but I swear all the English cars are like completely different to what you, mate. I swear, I, w I went, I went in high school, yeah, and I saw some geezer pull up in a Corvette, and I'm like, how old are you, guys? Like he's 17 years old. I'm like, how the hell do you get insurance to drive that thing? I literally, I, I came back home when I was 18, and um, I, I got my driving license and stuff like that, and then. I had a Volkswagen Golf. No, not, no, sorry, not Golf. Volkswagen Polo. It was like an old one. It's 2002. And I mean, listen, it ran really well for, 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 for what I had. But I think it was like about four grand or whatever. But my, uh, but yeah, of course, my parents helped me pay for that one. Uh, I didn't have the funds quite to, to sort that one. But I paid for my own insurance and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, I, I didn't let them take all the heat for it. But uh, yeah, I, I had a bit of a, a running record of my cars breaking down. So clearly I've not got a good eye for choosing cars that work. But uh, I'm lucky right now I've actually got a, uh, I've got a Kia Pro Seed. And uh, yeah, that, that's working quite well so far. That seven-year warranty, mate, it's, uh, it, it's definitely worth it, yeah. I think it was a uh, Renault Megane. Megane? Megane? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it's called in English, uh, but it was it was uh, it was a uh, convertible, uh, and uh, and I called it my hashmobile uh, because it was so disgusting and it smelled like hash. <laughs> but and and then it was so weird because I parked it outside of my first apartment. I had a Malma, and it was broken into in morning. The doors were open. Nobody took the car because it was so disgusting. They just took the radio, and then I knew I need to change my car. It only cost me four hundred dollars. My first vehicle, my mother gave me a Jeep Grand Cherokee. My first uh, vehicle I purchased was a Nissan Altima. Uh, 